Thank you and welcome to the General Manager's Report. We want to start off today about talking about Earth Day. It's April 22nd and we have plans to celebrate big this year. We're doing a lot of things in Tulalip to clean up our act. We are stewards of the earth and we really want to perform at the highest level. We have a great recycling program through Sam Davis and his team here at the administration building and we would invite everybody at home to start recycling. Tribal government continues to support greener practices. Here are some of the great things that we're doing right now to go green. So when this building was built, we had built-in green features, which is uh, the HVAC system. We have ground source heat pumps. So rather than have an outside uh, system that uses the outside air or use water, we circulate it through the earth. That kind of takes the heat away or takes the cool away, uh, makes the system much more energy efficient. Um, plus maintenance is much better than one of the other systems. Also with this building we have the rain gardens through the parking lot which kind of filters all the uh, runoff from the automobiles in through the soil rather than just sending all that bad water down to the bay. So people come driving into work, they park in the parking spot. Uh, a lot of times they'll have oil leak or they'll have um, water from their radiators which has glycol in it. Um, that gets onto the asphalt. Um, once the ra it rains, it'll end up in the rain gardens, which is the area between the cars. And that has the, the um, soil that's in there kind of filters out all that bad stuff. And so natural water goes back into the soil. So the admin building was not built with solar panels up on the roof. Um, there is talk about it. They're doing a study. They need a feasibility study to complete that study. And then we'll look at putting solar in. We do have another building, uh, Early Learning Academy that we have solar on that building and we're getting a little bit of energy savings on that. Uh, more is for, it's a teaching tool for the kids. All the kids that are, are there see the solar panels and see what they do and so hopefully they're growing up understanding saving energy as far as electricity. So the feasibility study for the building is how, what's the payback if, the, if putting solar into this building is going to cost us, just throw out figures, $150,000. How long is it, is it going to, or how much time is it will take us to save that money to pay it back to the tribe? So, you know, in the long run, it won't, doesn't cost us money. It's, it's a big savings. So the, the building, the HVAC, heating and air conditioning, has a control system that I, I monitor by the computer. I can make adjustments for the weekend, uh, temperature during the days. We always check and see how everything's running, make slight adjustment, which just saves us energy. Uh, lighting system the same way. It's computerized. I can change the lights, um, make adjustments to that so we're not wasting lights all night long when they don't need to be on. I monitor our electrical use. I see the bill, how much we pay each month for electricity. One thing all the employees could do is if you turn it on, turn it off. Uh, we've got overhead lights, we've got overhead fans, people turn them on, they go home at night and they leave them on and they run all night. So if they can do those, turn lights off, turns fans off, it would help a lot. Uh, outside the building, um, you know, people go outside and smoke. We've got a smoker shed. If um, when they come back in, they make sure the buds get into the ashtrays. Um, little cigarette butts last forever. And if they get thrown on the ground, they end up in the bay, and they end up in the fish and the salmon, and it's not good. If people would just pay attention, throw them where they need to be, it'd be great. We have purchased a machine called the Clean Core Caddy. And uh, the Clean Core Caddy, it produces what's called aqueous ozone technology, or they call it liquid ozone. And it's really just water that goes through a, a certain process of technology and it, and it cleans and it disinfects. So completely chemical free, it's sustainable. Um, it's very good for the environment and for the indoor air quality, um, which is something that we really want to transition to. The Caddy is an actual touchless bathroom cleaner system. And so you just spray that bathroom down with water and then you use microfiber rags, wipe it down, and then it vacuums up the rest of the water. But the other step to that is that we purchased a fill station and the fill station fills um, uh, water bottles so that you can use that water bottle to clean whatever surface you choose to. Another thing that has been done was um, purchasing um, biodegradable dining products. Those are all biodegradable products. Um, that's why they're that brown color. 
they actually are a little bit ex more expensive, but I feel like it's more our responsibility to make sure that we're practicing things that are sustainable for um, our environment. Our team has made a very conscious effort. If we don't see a recycle bin at somebody's desk, then we put one there. And on the other side of that too, if we see something in a garbage can that could be recycled that isn't, my staff is very good about putting it in the recycle. Tulip Tribes does co-mingled recycling. So you don't have to worry about if it goes in the plastic or the cardboard because you could just put it all in the same recycle bin. It's just an easier um, way to get people to want to recycle. Instead of purchasing bottled water, bringing your own water bottle is huge too. I think that makes a big difference. When I was growing up, the slogan that they always used was reduce, reuse, recycle. Recycle was like the last thing. So I think we need to figure out how do we reduce and how do we start reusing and then recycle. Here's a schedule of some of our Earth Week events. This year we honored a citizen of the year. It was Tara Perrin. She's a tribal member who over the last 10 years has had 52 children in her home. She offers respite care for the children that are removed from their parents through Badacha. Tara has built several connections and bonds with these children, and she is a safe place for them to land after going through a traumatic experience. We raise our hands to Tara, and we hope that more of you will open up your homes to be there for our children. On Saturday, April 7th, Mel Sheldon Jr. and Marlon Freiberg Jr. were sworn in for a three-year term as Tulalip Board of Directors. We would like to say thank you to all the candidates that put their names in. We would like to say a special thank you to Teresa Sheldon for her years of service. A new system called Versus is being introduced at the Tulalip Health Clinic this week. It will reduce wait times, improve patient experience, and increase provider efficiency. Versus is a radio frequency location program that helps with clinical workflow. It helps us to know where our staff is and also helps with the patients as they move through the system. We can then see if they've been in a room and then have gone to x-ray and the x-ray is now completed and they need to return to their room. We could see if they've been to the lab and are now ready for their provider to come back and see them again. So it's really to try to make it so it's more efficient for the patient to understand, do we have the right amount of time, the right amount of space, the right amount of personnel. When the patient first checks in at the front, they'll be handed a clipboard, and on that clipboard will be attached a small badge. They will carry the clipboard throughout their patient experience here. But one of the benefits as well is that we frequently have patients who come for multiple visits at the same time, back to back to back. And so we want to make sure that we um, don't call them and have them still in a visit and think that there are no showing for their visit when they're actually in the building. Another thing that really will enhance the patient experience is it tells us how long they've been waiting. We'll actually get a pop-up. The patient's been alone for 10 minutes. Staff needs to go and let that patient know what's going on, how much longer is it going to be. Um, in the waiting area, there's also a 15-minute pop-up that goes to the registration staff. So if the patient has been in a waiting area longer than 15 minutes, the front desk becomes aware so that they can also communicate to the patient to see where they're at in the workflow. Certainly for most scheduled visits, we anticipate that we will get them seen in a relatively timely fashion. For people in walk-in though, it can be a longer wait depending upon the time of year and how many patients have come in that day. Frequently in a healthcare situation, people are concerned about their privacy and understandably so. So these badges are only a radio frequency um, and they are safe um, and they have no audio or video capabilities. Um, we do have what we call a floor view, which helps us to visualize where patients as well as providers are. On our floor view, patients' full names are not displayed. They have initials and that is it. But we do want people to feel confident that they are having privacy and not being recorded in any way. 
our biggest goal is to decrease the waiting time and the communication of waiting time. That is our number one goal at this point in time for the patient experience. Um, it is going to be a little interesting when people first come in and get started with it. We do anticipate that on a clipboard that the clipboards are going to be set various and sundry places. Um, but as people get used to using it and recognize the benefit associated with it, I think that they will really like the system. Our go live at this point is April 17th. We'll have two staff on site from Versus, um, which is currently located in Michigan, and they'll be here to help us with our go live and to help with any workflow issues or any changes or tweaks that we need to do to the system in order to make it work the best we can for Tulalip. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.